Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the labs. I am Tausty, and I am so happy to be back. It has been over a week since I have actually been able to get on and do anything, so literally nothing has changed since we left off, except for the fact that we burned through about 5,000 wood in that week, if my memory is correct. So, yeah, that's happened, and uh, I have done a server update, or a pack update. That is out now, 3.3.1 is out, because 3.3 .3 was broken after I did that. But everything's working well <clears throat> now, actually things are running swimmingly. And apparently we filled another tank. Yeah, it does appear as if we filled yet another tank of steam, so maybe that's not the right solution for the fluid. I don't know. I was trying to get my bearings today and decided to do a little bit of recipe tweaking before I got into anything too crazy. And uh, I did have to empty this. It was clogged full of golden nuggets. So I'm going to have to fix that at some point here. But before we do, um, I'm very curious. So lots has happened. I guess uh, the guys on the server have been very busy while I have been away. And I think Hollow has even blown up a Draconic Reactor. <laughs> Uh, to some degree. I don't know if it was on the server or in a testing or what, but yeah, lots has happened. So here's what I'd, I want to do today. This is a little off, a bit of a tangent to get me back into things um, before I sort of figure out what I'm going to be doing. <clears throat> I know I'm working in the, the big base up there, but... Hmm? Why do these look like that? Do they have an... Oh? Huh, their, their texture got changed. That's awesome. Um, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I can't see it on all of them though. So, anywho, I'm getting distracted already. But, uh, shiny things, right? So today, I, I actually wanna do something that's gonna help me test out some recipes that I've been changing, so. The first thing that I'm going to need to make is this. So we'll get some stone bushing, and while we still can, we will actually get some plates made up here. So do we have a forge hammer in here? Or what other, what is it called in this uh, world pack mod thing? <clears throat> yes, this, okay. So we'll need a bit of steel. Oh, we don't have that much steel actually. I thought we had more than this. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Um, I guess I can get the good old, good old fashioned nuclear craft thing going because that was really effective for steel, I think, once I sped it up. But let's do this real quick. We need a bushing. Did I make that? Yes, I did. And boom, okay. So we've got our gear mold. I'm gonna be changing all of the gear recipes to require some form of casting or pounding or something, right? So for example, gold right now, you can make gold gears from the smeltery, or you can make them in a metal press. Uh, and I have to fix the thermal expansion recipe because there isn't one. So that's kind of what I've been working on, but I've got this one in here and it's telling me it's only requiring one iron ingot, even though the recipe I made actually requires four. So I wanna see if that's just a weird visual glitch with JEI or if that's actually a problem. So I need, do we have engineer's handbook, whatever it's called. Uh, does not look like it. Oh, what's in here? No more handbook. I wanna add the mod that tells you what those things all do. Uh, no handbook here, so let's check it. Uh, engine, yeah. Engineer's manual. This is what I need. Do, do, do. Okay, so now what I need to look at is simple machines and the metal press is what we're looking for. Automated workbench, am I blind? Huh? It's considered a heavy machinery? That's crazy. Okay, so we just need to uh, do this. So two steel, uh, what do we need? 
Two steel scaffolding, one redstone engineering, one piston, two conveyor belt, and two heavy, or one heavy. So let's just start with uh, the two steel scaffolding and one redstone engineering block. So there's scaffolding. Oh, that reminds me. Ender Utilities has changed quite a bit. Uh, it's been updating and working and and uh, I think has made some pretty cool renditions. We've got the inserter here, which is like a fancy pipe. Um, we've also got the drawbridge, which is awesome. Super excited about that. The nullifier. Um, and I want to say there was something else. Not those. The barrel that's there, adjustable storage. That is new. The void pick. Uh, was that it? Ooh, that's awesome. <gasps> we are going to use that, and I wonder if we can color that somehow. I don't know. Sorry. Shiny things. Um, so we need a steel scaffolding. Okay, we don't have any of that. Let's get those going. We're gonna have to change those recipes too. I want it all printing. Uh, but then again, that'll cause problem with these recipes. Okay, so we got two of those. Redstone engineering block. Perfect. A piston. Let's see, it also needs two conveyor belts, it said. Do I have any leather? Oh, sweet, okay. And an engineering block, right? A heavy engineering block. I think that was all we needed. So what am I missing? Oh, those two little like geary thingies. Those are easy to make. One, two, oh no. Okay, we got enough. Good deal. I wonder why it doesn't, oh, oh well. Okay, so we're actually just gonna set it up in here, I think, but um, we need the steel here and here, redstone here. Um, we actually need, was it like, no, that actually might've been right. Like that, but I think this has to face the right way. Right? I, I think that was right. Okay, and then we'll need some conveyors and a good old whack with a hammer. I hope that was right. That'd be pretty cool. I am usually not able to remember things. Oh, I did it. I remembered it all on my own. Okay, so let's grab some iron and a bit of power. I'm pretty sure I have another fluxy thingy somewhere here. Yes, okay. And where do we receive energy on this bad boy? Is it up top? Tis. Ah, there you go, I remembered how to do it. Okay, so I think if I just do this, Junk. Crap. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so I do need to figure out why that's not working, but we have this machine. That's a very good thing. We're gonna need this machine. In fact, I'll probably need to make a little, little factory for, uh, for this machine alone because we'll want three or four of them in case we ever actually need to do quite a bit of crafting. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure if it just like chunks stuff on there, it's pretty good at handling it, especially if you use an item router, but I don't want to get it all mixed up. So, oh, look, we got a different gear that time. I wonder if there's a way we can manage that <laughs> a bit better. Why is that a thing? So anyways, see how it says four here, but we look at this guy and it only says one. So I need to figure that out now. So we'll be back hopefully once I've done that. Okay guys, it, uh, it does work. So we ended the last little segment here. I mean, this is more for my 
need uh, than yours, but just trying to make this work with all of the different gears uh, as we don't have a shaped recipe for them anymore. So every gear can be crafted in the gear press. And I think, where are these ones? Eventually, oh no, no, that's it, okay. So yeah, they're all gonna be needing the gear press or casting. Smart output's gonna go away because I keep forgetting to remove it, but it, it just causes some server problems and I'm tired of dealing with them. But um, that segment where we set this up well, a week ago <laughs> in real life, I think, I don't know. It's been a long time. Uh, a bit, actually quite a lot has changed. We updated the pack, most mods were updated, and as a result, the server was down for about three days total. Uh, that's never happened before. The iLab server has been around in some shape or form for about two and a half years now, I think, and that's never been down that long. Um, well, actually, there was a, a period of time where we didn't have a server at all, we just weren't really playing much, but that's neither here nor there. So. That works. I did a little bit of work off camera on a couple of things and uh, I wanted to show it to you. Here we go. So I set up uh, a creoso or a, a blast furnace. It's taking some wood and turning it into charcoal. It's moving it over here and it's pumping it into this and we're making steel from it. I've emptied this. It was about double this earlier today. So that's going strong. How are we doing on steam here? Everybody happy with steam? Yep, still good. Still good. Ooh, that's going with 2,000, and how much are we making? Only 1,600. Oh, you know, we might run into power problems in a minute here, but don't worry. I will have a solution soon, hopefully. Let's check this out. Well, this is doing okay, somehow. That doesn't make sense to me. 400, 400, 400, 400. That's only 1,600. Huh. Well, anyways, these don't take a lot. These are like 8 or 16 hours per tick or something like that. But uh, this is making steel for us. This is kind of the easiest way that I could think of to make steel in a pinch. I wanted to show you guys what we're going to work on now. We're actually going to work on a bit of power solution. This is uh, completely a tangent from where I was planning on going. But in the update, I was able to add them on, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So we actually may end up changing the whole theme of things here a little bit. But um, when you're holding this core sample driller, if you guys have not seen this, it's from Immersive Engineering. They have a way of gathering resources like a quarry that's not the same as a typical quarry. So you put this down. It shows the chunks when you're looking at it. Oh, poop. I have my thing turned on because I was digging obsidian earlier. Oh, man. Core sample. There we go. Uh... So, anywho, so when you're holding this, it shows you the chunk boundaries. So you put it down in a chunk, uh, you give it power, which is why we have this capacitor right now, and you right click on it and it chunk, 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 chunk. If you've seen this in the past, it was actually like, it would just kind of scan the area slowly and tell you eventually some information about this chunk. Now it does this, stops, you right click it, it gives you a sample. In this case, a very useless sample. Uh, that you can place down, but there's no mineral and there's no oil in this dimension. If I hold it, see it says no mineral, no oil. So I'm gonna leave it here. It kind of reminds me that I've done these chunks. And so I've done this a couple times and I started to dig us up some oil. So you'll see a couple new structures here, particularly this one, these two anyways. I made a couple of oil pump jacks. And I'm pretty excited about this. So, I don't know why I couldn't pick that up for a second there. This chunk right here had 4,750 buckets of oil in it or so. Um, and it was like the second chunk I scanned. So you can see there's a core sample sort of all over the place. Some of them have oil, some of them don't. This one has a bit less. This, oh no, not this one. This one has a bit of oil in it as well. And uh, basically this kind of digs to a, where it finds oil, which is um, not actually anything you'd ever run into in the world. It's sort of like quote unquote below bedrock, but, and it pumps it out. So these should be done. I'm not, 
<coughs> excuse me, sorry. I'm not sure if there's a way for us to tell if these are done, if this will scan again and give us a new sample. This sample here we'll look at in a second as well, because it's kind of unique uh, to the other ones we've seen so far. Take this out. No oil left. Okay, so I'm actually going to put these side by side so we know that, hey, this one's done. But this one here is actually, you can see there's some ore in it. <clears throat> you see how there's like a bit of a gold blob jewel and iron blob jewel? That means that this is a magnetite vein, which is what we're seeing here, which means... <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm munching on some pistachios uh, about an hour ago and I still got little bits and pieces of it. Got apparently stuck on my throat. But, so magnetite veins give us... Uh, you can look it up in the book what these give you. If you go to the... There's probably a couple ways to do this. Heavy machinery, click on minerals in here and scroll through, it'll give you an example, but magnetite is iron and gold in this breakdown. So it's actually not a bad little vein, but we really don't need it. So I don't really need magnetite, but I wouldn't mind finding a platinum vein. That'd be kind of nice at some point here, but it's just nice that you can see it sort of broken down there. This is so loud. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this oil and we're gonna set up a station for oil to come into our base and we're gonna take it and move it over to that. So these are pump jacks. These are not too terribly hard to make. They're actually an add-on called immersive petroleum and uh, they're pretty, stop it, stop, stop. Pause, okay. Pause, there we go. <laughs> Uh, just need some scaffolding, some um, engineering blocks, redstone, fluid pipes, steel sheeting, stuff like that. It's pretty cheap, pretty simple. So these have recently been updated to only take a thousand RF per tick, and they pump about five millibuckets of oil per tick. So I set up two here to clear out this larger deposit. We'll probably only put one down in this small one over here for now. Um, and then what you do with that oil is it, I think it is, let me check. It's just called oil right now. And then what we can do is we can put it in this distillation tower and it can be heated into diesel. And then I'm pretty sure we can use that to, uh, to generate some, or to uh, create some electricity, some energy. So we'll be doing that. I just want to check, uh, if we look at dynamo, there's uh, innervation, reactant, I think compression and solid reactant. A couple of these can be used with oil. I don't know if it needs the refined oil or if that would even help, but there's not really like a way of me checking without doing some testing. So here's our oil bucket. Can't do much with that. Uh, actually additions apparently. Canola? No, that's the wrong oil. Creosol oil. Oil is from actually additions. It does not have a bucket of crude oil. Oh well. Uh, unless this is it? Crude oil? Thermal foundation. What can it be used for? Fractioning still, tar, yeah, no, not helpful. Anyways, so I'll fiddle with that. But it can go into, I'm pretty sure anyways, heavy machinery into this diesel generator. Which, I can't see. <laughs> Hello, oops. Uh, power and generators, oh, okay. So we want diesel generator. Uh, it's designed to use biodiesel, but we're gonna hook it up with one of these guys and make it pump out a lot of power. So we may actually have to move our tree farm. I might make a void dimension to put this tree farm in because I kind of hate it here, to be honest. But we'll uh, deal with that later. Um, for right now though, I have made this. This is not that expensive. It's kind of annoying to build, but uh, it's a pretty tall tower. It's nice and um, like repeating and evenly spread out so you can sort of just look at it a couple times. And once you got the base done, just repeat it and you're fine. And then of course you just right click it with the hammer and it forms. So here's what I've got going on right now is I've got some fluid loaders and unloaders. Let's get some rail craft going. I need a uh, cart. We got a tank cart here. 
And so we'll make one of those. We'll make some of this as well. Grab a couple of carts, a couple of tank carts. Okay. Then we'll also need some tracks and some rails, I guess. So we'll rail, let's look at rail. What kind of rail options do we have? These aren't from Railcraft. Let's just make sure uh, track actually. <laughs> okay. We need some powered tracks. I think it just takes over these. Yeah, that's right. I gotta figure out what the best way to make these is. It's actually these. Um, we should probably get into a rolling machine to automate this. Uh, Invar, steel actually makes quite a bit. Bronze makes quite a bit, Invar makes a bunch, eight. But this Osmium recipe, I should probably remove this to be honest, because that's, when you've got Railcraft installed, there's really no point in having this recipe because it's not really supposed to be easy. But all the same, we're gonna need a different recipe for the booster tracks and we'll have to get all of this figured out. Now I've got some of this already. Um, I'm not super worried about some of this, but uh, it will be a bit of work off camera for me to get all the tracks that I need uh, and get a couple of these rolling machines going. So I'll start to create a few of these kinds of bits and bobs um, and hopefully, what was that? Is there like an industrial power rolling machine? Oh yeah, this is what we need. Glad I saw that. Oh, okay, so let's get that going, as well as uh, a gear change if you're playing the pack as far as this update goes. Yes, we'll make gears on here. Uh, there is one more change as well, or there's more than one, but uh, one that you should take note of. Where's our steel at? Let's take a stack of these. Put it in there, um, and then I'll spit that up. Is I have finally managed to get this working the way I want. Quartz enriched iron, super needed for a lot of things in this pack as far as refined storage goes. Right, you can make one with eight of these, and I might change that to be a non-automatable recipe, but we'll see. Um, you can cast this. This is gonna go away. I'm getting rid of this. Um, so if you're using that system and this might go away for now what it is is just very inefficient So I think I'm gonna leave it What you can do is get a uh, bucket of molten quartz enriched iron and Cast it out and I'll probably make another way of using this to create an ingot But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet so you make molten quartz enriched iron by taking a piece of nether quartz in a mixer with about um, I think that's three ingots of iron, and it'll actually make eight ingots worth of quartz, um, of quartz enriched iron. All right, so that, we're gonna need to set up that. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff on and off camera here to automate. Um, that's not the right, oh well, well, it'll work fine. To automate um, our basic infrastructure as the recipes are changing like I started to do with uh, capacitors the other day. So let's get this going. Powered machine thingy. Doom, do, do, do. Put two there. Okay, so booster track. I know I said I would do this off camera, but we're already here. So what do we need? Um, gold and redstone. So we got gold. I'm actually, I don't have much redstone. I kind of need that to not be a problem anymore. All uh, right, we probably don't need all of this. And then we also need the uh, loading, load, loads entities into cards, iron. No, not the disembarking tracks. We need a particular kind of track that I can't remember. Coupler track? No, not coupler. Um, throttle, no. One way, no. Messenger track, no. Activator. Activates passing carts. That might do it.
locomotive tracks, buffer tracks. I think it's like a holding track. Oh yeah, here we go, locking track. What are these abandoned nonsense? I don't want these, I need a rig, okay. Locking track, here we go. Stops and hold carts. Uh, Here's an iron locking track. We just need a regular track and this track kit, which is a sticky piston. These track parts are a bit of an issue, I guess. I'll just make a couple of those. No? What? Oh, rolling machine, okay. Iron ink, uh, nugget. That's why we made two. So we get that going. Okay, and what else? I forgot what I was trying to do. So we'll need a couple stone pressure plates. That's easy enough. Uh, a sticky piston. That's fine too. Do we have everything we need now? Yes, okay. I'm gonna start with six. Uh, that's probably enough for now. And the booster tracks turn into, oh, I need more beds, don't I? Not a problem, let me go deal with that real quick. Okay, so I've got a fluid loader right here and it's automatically drawing from that. Uh, so that's good. This says there's only 2,000 buckets, so it should actually still be gaining even though we're out. That doesn't make sense to me, unless it's already drained a ton. Yeah, yikes. Okay, so what we'll do is put a locking track here. Uh, we need a crowbar, actually. I'm, I wasn't thinking about that. Do we have a crowbar? Okay, good. So... We kind of need this to face the other way. Can we do that? No. Pick it up. And pick it up. Oh, no, it'll automatically face. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, let's just do this. Get that back in there. Okay. So the plan is that when it's full, track lockdown mode, holding mode, Boarding mode, boarding mode, train boarding mode, lockdown, train lockdown, holding. Okay, so this is kind of what we want. And then what will happen is, uh, pro I, keep, I don't know what keep pristine. Process until operation is complete. Um, process until out of room or supply. So that's probably what we'll want. Uh, we'll come here. We'll just shave off the corner of this. Because this is kind of temporary, but I just want to make sure I have the the infrastructure for the system sort of figured out. Um, uh, let's do this. And we'll probably just take a piece of dirt, put it there, and make this sort of artificial hill down here. Um, and if we were to make it semi-permanent that I would clean that up some but we're not gonna do that so we'll just let it fall down this hill and then we need it to curl around eventually um, yeah it, it can do this that's fine dirt do we have any dirt left go up this hill And we'll move our deposit, because that's not hugely important. Okay, and we'll go around. There's the input there, so that's actually pretty good. I didn't realize the input was gonna be right there. So yeah, obviously I'll have to come through and put booster tracks and things in here. Make sure that the cart can actually get from one to the other place to the other. I think just for my sanity, we're going to put it like this. 
locking track, and then go off in this direction. Oh shoot, no, I need to come down a layer, don't I? Get out of here. Aren't those trees annoying? Okay. Um, so we'll actually... Gosh, I need to mute those tree sounds. Put a fluid unloader here. It goes under the track. Oh, okay. So we actually don't need to go down. We'll just go up one, which is pretty great. But it does mean that we'll come out one extra here. Got our crowbar going on. We'll go this way with this in the holding track and hopefully that'll actually output right into our cart. Um, and then, okay, so let's just kind of complete this circuit real quick. We'll actually come just back up this way. Like I don't want to spend too many resources doing this because it, it is largely temporary. Um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll figure out a station kind of um, where this stuff can come in from uh, like a Tesseract or something, or, or not Tesseract, uh, what do you call it? Actually, do we have Tesseracts? I don't even remember if that was added. No, not from a Tesseract, but from something uh, similar to a Tesseract. Do we have elevator tracks? Is that a thing? It is. Can we make any of these? I don't think I have that middle bar. What is this? Standard rail? Uh, so let's grab some... We'll just grab iron for this. I don't need a lot of these. Alright, we're just trying to get our elevator track here set up. And I don't know how these work. I've never really used them. So that's exciting. Um, I don't know if I'm even putting them the right way, but thankfully we can just turn them. So I'm just going to clear up some of this grass. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And we'll bring the tracking over here. Like so. Will that work? And then I think they need a redstone signal. So one thing I should probably make is like a whole bunch of levers. I don't think I have any in here. This episode is going to be longer, but uh, it's been so long since I've been able to record. I kind of just want to get some stuff out there, um, or recorded, so that I can do a bit of work off camera and not feel too bad about it. Really? Okay, so let's get a cart here, and oh no, I don't want to do that because I don't want this to run. I'm a little concerned as to how it's going to work, though. Yeah, let's get a passenger cart. I wonder how derpy these things are. I know they used to be pretty... Okay, that seemed to work perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Okay, so it'll shoot off of there. It'll go across. This should hold it because it's um, fluid and not something else. Uh, can I... I want holding mode. And I would also like it to be one way. Oh, well. Okay, so let me now go through and get the booster tracks put in. And we'll be right back. All right, so that should be all of them, which means if we put a tank cart down, uh, it should, theoretically, go fill up. Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see how far it fills up. Um, it should fill up quite a... 32 buckets worth. That might take a bit of time. Let's see if we can't speed that up. All right, there it goes. It's stopping. Why did it not fill up all the way? Oh, I didn't realize we could actually interact with this machine. So here's what's going to happen. This is going to produce oil. It's also going to produce um, 
butamin, I think, is what it's called. And uh, once it does that, we can also make asphalt, which I don't know if we're going to need it at all. But um, And so this uh, will slowly but surely fill things up. The thing about this is going to hopefully be kind of neat is it should pace itself out pretty well. And uh, it may need a redstone signal. It may be reacting to this redstone signal. I'm not sure. It should be going now. I don't know why it's not. I'm wondering if this won't run because this is emitting a signal. Hmm. Well, no, that should only react over there. No, nope. there should be a way for me to point what direction I want it to go in. Hmm. Anyways, why aren't you processing? I gotta learn more about this now, I think, as well. Let's see if that made a difference. It's got power. Is it just, like, super slow? Does it need a redstone signal, I wonder? Yep, it needed a redstone signal. Okay, so we're going to turn this off for a second. Man, this thing should not be chewing up that much power. It's 2,000 RF per tick is what it should be doing. Um, let's go look at our capacitors real quick. Oh, you know what? Probably can't do 2,000 plus everything we're doing. All right, things are looking like they're working now. Um, I was having a problem. It wasn't running because... Or, sorry. I don't remember why I cut last time. I checked on our power, I got a uh, second cart going, and it's starting to make, I did notice this makes a lot more than one to one. Uh, that seems to be almost like one and a half to one. I did turn off the pump jacks. I gave them a redstone signal, so they're not doing anything anymore. Uh, but we're still draining. You know, we're still draining a pretty good tick. So I'm not gonna let this run overnight until I have a more stable power supply. But what I would like to do is just kind of see what materials we're looking at for our diesel generator. Just to get it hooked up and working, you know? Um, so let's get rid of all this stuff and let's grab our... Those. Um, and we'll go generators, diesel generator needs. A big pause. It needs 13 heavy engineerings, four generator, and nine radiator blocks. And the final things that I am going to need are these dynamos and two generator blocks. I think that's everything. Boom. All right, let's go build this sucker. Uh, for right now, I'm going to actually put it right here. <laughs> Not too far from the fluid because I don't have a great way of moving it right now. And we're going to start cleaning up this area a little bit. But uh, for right now... Okay, so we'll pause it. And we'll start to build. And I believe this is the final step. Uh, let's just get our hammer and see. Ah, there we go. Bad for the environment. You better believe it. Okie dokie. So there's three power outlets there. There is, um, where's our fluid input? Oh, it's on that side. Oh, it's on both sides. Oh, great, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I just take one of these pump jack. Uh, oh, no. I need a sending device. I need another one of these, which I gotta see if I was able to make any more blaze. I think I left enough stuff that it would be cooking. Oh, I forgot. I gotta pick up these things. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Okay. So we need a flux uh, plug. So we're gonna add this to our little bank of power. Now, I don't know how smart the diesel generator is. I'm not sure if it will shut down when it's not needed, but we'll see. Okie dokie. The traffic jam up here. I, forgot I, I gotta fix this. Once this starts grabbing power again, this won't be as backed up as it is now. But we'll put the flux plug on here. We should only need one. Okay. This is gonna be charge. And diesel. 
and ignore limit. So that's why we should only need one. And then we'll just get a bit of uh, fluid conduit here for now. Sweet. Okay, so that is how we are going to manage to uh, maintain a bit of power even when this thing is running. So I don't know why none of these are being sent the direction they're supposed to. These are just supposed to, like, these <laughs> stupid things are supposed to be sent the direction they're moving when they get held. There's no way to, like, tell it what direction to go anymore, uh, which to me seems very dumb. All right, now this should work better because it can actually run without getting interrupted. And maybe that's a power thing. All right, well, I'll fiddle with this and I'll try and get it figured out for the next episode. Until then, I'm in Tausty and the deuces.